Hello and welcome to Tales Across Time and Space. I'm Thomas, your Game Master, and I'm joined by... Ari Wolf! What's up, Wolfpack? Ari Wolf here, and I'm playing Archangel Zenova. Zeistin! Uh, hello, Wolfpack. Uh, I'm stealing your thing. <laughs> I'm playing Zeistin, the Doom! <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Radical Dishonesty! Hey, I'm Radical Dishonesty. I'm playing uh, uh, Regalia the Outsider. I almost said Wolfpack. Oh, you should have. We could have, have, we could have had a theme. We should have, yeah. <laughs> Mistral! Hi, I'm, I'm Mistral, and I'm playing Inferno the Transformed. Jamie SP! Hi, Rabbit Pack. It's me, Jamie SP here. <laughs> right up! <laughs> When you have the high level attacks, they're terrifying. Oh. When I made it be, I played Cutie Cloud the Janus. And so Crystallum Kitsune. Hi, I'm Crystallum Kitsune, and I am playing Artemis, the protege, and I am dying. Not dying. I'm you're, dying. You're not dying. I'm dying. I'm gonna go get some hot water with vinegar right now. All right. Well, so please cancer. do a scene that is not. I, I still with me. still doing intros here. Still doing okay. the introduction here. Today we're playing Masks: A New Generation. If you want to see more, please subscribe, like, and follow. This notifies you and helps us reach a wider audience. Hey, babe, where is your apple cider vinegar? It should be on the the mini fridge in the back. Behind all my yeah, spices. Yeah. Look for, I think there's some there. Like, look for the brown liquid. It'll be a large bottle. It should stick up. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, first, some, first some updates here. Um, again, reminding you, at the beginning of... Uh, once we get into October, we will be taking a two-week hiatus as we are going to be on vacation. Um, in addition, uh, no, for next week, we will be down a player... Ari has, uh, has Bondo obligations. I have an, a previous engagement that I must attend to. But, but yeah, um, that's, and there are some other gaps we'll have, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. We don't have exact dates yet for those, so. But the October is the only one we're, we're not running for, so. All right. That out of the way, last time, you guys had found yourself now, uh, well, Inferno and uh, Archangel both found themselves now in a in, in a lockdown uh, box, which they proceeded to completely disregard their far, 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 further unit, further, further unit. <laughs> the hot, they just disregarded the hot dog vendor. Oh, as far as their father. <laughs> really? Uh, the hot dog vendor, a true villain. <laughs> what don't, of that? Hey, don't laugh. Uh, you you were originally going to have an antagonist of the Pie Meister. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know, from now on, I'm just going to call him for her. <laughs> Please do. It would be such an infernal <laughs> thing to do. It would. <laughs> He has no respect for him anyways. <laughs> oh, to be fair, if Inferno starts doing it, Archangel's gonna start doing it. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> after Bruce first you know, to feel light, you end up in the stadium kind of wrapped up and onto itself a la Doctor St the Doctor Strange movie where it's just kind of repli self-replicated and warped and distorted. Uh, okay, I guess Doctor Strange meets Psychonauts for that crazy... Like... It wasn't intentionally, but it just fits together so well, like... I mean, you're not it, wrong. <laughs> uh, Apollo chewed out to both Blackbird and Regalia because they weren't his sister, and he w didn't want to babysit her, lo her loser mortal friends. And, um, eventually, uh, oh yeah, and... Uh, Dante managed to get his sister. I should write down that name so I have. I should just have a sheet of Mary. paper. Mary. I should have a sheet of paper with names. Mary Monroe. Down. 
so that I can unroll? Yeah, I thought your last name was Mason. Sorry. Manson. Manson, sorry. Manson. Yeah, I was going to say, wait. I don't know why. I, I, have it written, I actually <laughs> have your name written down here. So I mean, I, our names are probably important to have, yeah? Yeah. Uh, managed to get his sister inside a, a broom closet before the original distortion wave hit. And after going out to check things out, his sister proceeded to ride off into the sunset in a mop bucket. <laughs> the, the only way to travel. Uh, the only way to travel in style. Archangel, uh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, actually, no, I forgot. Ar before we rewind a little bit. Artem the reason Apollo was around Artemis is because crazed fans, like more crazed than usual, knocked her into a hole that locked shut, and then when you open, and if you did open the door behind it, it was now suddenly a brick wall because this place is weird and distorted that way right now. Very, Meanwhile, very crazy. Archangel found herself in a bathroom hallway. Uh, and following the sound of retching, managed to find a Artemis that was just coming to and the poor poor fan that had tackled her down here puking out his guts. Words okay. were shared. Harsh feelings were, were expressed and Archangel manifested a laser drill that will pierce the heavens. And they and burrowed their way to the surface without any incident. Meanwhile, uh, Dante and Mary came across one Inferno who was standing on an inverted version of the the booth they were in, and much much shenanigans had ensued in that thing about the fact that the Janus was trying to keep their identity on the D the DL around <laughs> their little sister. So fun things were said there. Yeah. It, guys, do you, is there anything else I'm forgetting here? No, no, no. That's pretty right. That's all I'm nothing, talking. nothing super specific. Oh, I, don't I think... almost pissed off. I almost, uh, Regalia almost pissed off Apollo, but didn't quite. Yep, right. Working on it. <laughs> I feel like working I don't on think it. Apollo is going it's to be. Um, well, I don't think Apollo is going to be very well uh, managed or maintained. Behaved? Until his sister. Behaved, that's a good word. Yes. Um, there was. I mean, we're about to to see her. I don't think he's going to be well behaved after he finds his sister. So. Oh, we'll just see. I don't think the... he's going to be well behaved either because Aspen might beat him over the head with a baseball bat. Yeah, baseball. <laughs> <bat>. <laughs> a techno baseball bat. That's the. What's the color of Aspen's powers? It's it's like a maroony purple. All right, with a purple baseball bat. Maroon for the moron. <laughs> what a maroon. Talk about Apollo oh. and the fact that uh, uh, Archangel wants to beat her, beat him over the head with a tech bat. A tech bat? A tech bat. Potentially. Ow. Of course, the uh. DM almost made me set up my drink. <laughs> what he just said. So thank you for almost getting my computer soaked in soda. What did I say? Maroon for the moron. Oh. I didn't think it was being that funny, honestly. Actually, doesn't taste bad. I thought bad. it was hilarious. I'm funnier than I think I am sometimes. <laughs> and many times, the exact opposite. Exciting. Depends on the number of puns crowd. per million. And it depends on your crowd. PPM. Anyways. Alright, so, we're actually gonna... Uh, yeah, puns per minute? Yes. I have a very high PPM. <laughs> Indeed. But yes, we'll, we'll, I want to quick open up on on the uh, Armas and Archangel. You guys just came mm -hmm. to the surface of the hole. Um, was, I, I'm trying to remember here, did you guys have any intention of like going uh, tension of going. Uh, what what was your intention as you came to the top of the hole? What what is the your very next... least? We, the very least we got to find Apollo. Make sure he's not. And you know he's probably the easiest to find because you know he's glowing. Yeah. 
Um. So uh, you're kind of looking around and such. Um. Uh, brain. 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 No, he turns on the brain you speak of. <laughs> so what's a brain? TV? Can I eat it? Only had a brain. <laughs> I think I've only got half a brain, let's be honest. <laughs> so you have half a mind about it, huh? Mm hmm Anyways. <sighs> As you guys are kind of surveying the landscape around you, um, what's the kind of the, I guess here, let's kind of establish some tone here. What's the, what's the feeling right now between the two of you? Like, what, what, what is the temperature at? Um, lukewarm, I'd say. Yeah. Like, I, I it it's, it's not, not at the it's worst. Not, it's not at a heated argument, but in the moment, they, I think they both realize that. Whatever dispute is going on between them is not needed. Yeah. Right. Like, they're kind of, I think, it's basically like, they're not in a good place, but they're not in the worst place right now either. Like, they're not in the worst place in the world, but there's definitely a lot of tension. It could be better. It could be but better, yeah. They know, but being heroes, they know in the moment, right now, matters. Their feelings. Exactly. Good. All right. So, you guys both hear a scream. What giant oversized musical instrument is this emanating out of? It has to be a guitar. I'm sorry. Guitar, yeah. Okay, so you kind of see this guitar. embedded into the landscape because, you know, this like, I, I, okay, I'm going to pull back her. I'm a liar! <laughs> no, no. Not at a rock concert. Not a rock concert. <laughs> No, it'd be funny if it was an I, electric I liar. I'm sure. I'm sure Apollo has discovered an electric liar. Um, at this point on. in his life, he's created he's one. On. Yes. He's um. Which is weird, considering he played bass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anywho. The uh, yes, TJ. So yeah, you hear a uh, what sounds like an adult woman scream. Uh, you uh, actually uh, rewind a little bit. A white wave, no, black wave, pulse off the thing, kind of passing through you guys. Again, unscathed. Um, she, her, she, the barrier kind of appears again around you and your uh, sister as you guys are kind of walking together with Inferno. As your familiar continues to shield the two of you. And your sister still looks at you incredulously like, are you sure he doesn't have bubble powers? <laughs> but that's a little cutaway gag. You have bubble powers, Inferno. <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> oh, I wish someone's there to tease you about it, because that would be funny. Oh, yes. Um, that way, so anyways, that way it goes out. The bubble power he has is around his own emotions. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep. Wow. Um, oh. Inferno, take a powerful blow. That was that was also a meta joke. <laughs> it's like if we were playing D and I would say, "Wow, take one D six emotional damage." <laughs> um. Anyways, and then that that wave has. Then you hear the scream coming out of the giant. Uh, clipped guitar, so it looks like there's like a cave. The guitar kind of for mouth forms a cave. It's actually like kind of embedded into some of the landscape, the the stadium seat, flattened stadium seating landscape. What do you do? Um, might as well head for the guitars. Mm -hmm. See what that's all about. Yeah, we'll head for the guitar, especially since it's now giant and embedded in the ground. As you kind of approach the thing, you notice there are, uh, as you kind of get closer to it, you kind of 
see there is a throng of uh, crazed fans kind of trying to claw their way past the guitar strings. And you see a woman kind of, a woman, you hear her screaming coming out from the inside of the guitar. Great acoustics, apparently. No kidding. I'm just like, are we going into the Brutal Legends uh, world here? <laughs> I mean, it's it's in it, kind of in theme because we were just talking about Psychonauts and we just matched them together. <laughs> to be fair, this whole thing was actually mostly planned independently of Psychonauts. I know. Like, I kind the, of assumed line up with what that having thought. a psychic kind of be the issue here is actually an existing character from another thing I'm repurposing for this. <laughs> thank it's you. Just... Thank you for. So we must thank Tim Schafer for giving us these beautiful games. Yes, they're much fun and very, you know, like very, very touching. Anywho, woman screaming in the guitar. Yep, as a kind of, kind of a basically like mosh to a mosh pit turned to eleven, kind of frenzied. What do only you do? Eleven. Ah, uh... it only goes to eleven. Are we sure? Anyway. Uh, my first instinct would be to kind of, I guess, box in the uh, crazy, crazy people. <laughs> All right. I almost called them censors. Hey, <laughs> 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 too much psychonauts in the room. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so she'll hey, try and. Do, do we want to switch over to Inception instead? No. <laughs> um, but she'll kind of like. Because I think she's kind of figured out that these are patrons. You don't want to hurt them. So it's just kind of like like a box or a cage. Alright, so how are you doing that? Are you going to charge yourself up and try to do some of your uh, burn the flares? Or are you going to just try to I, unleash your I think power? I am going to do, I think I am going to do a flare, but it would help if roll was open. Okay. <laughs> um, this... Burn is roll plus conditions. Yep, and you currently have two I conditions. I have two conditions right now. Yep. So... See how nice my dice are today. So I rolled a seven. All right. On a seven and nine marking condition. <laughs> and, but no, remember, you also get a hit. On a hit, hold three burn. Okay. But then it says on a 7 to 9 market condition. Yeah, so a hit means a 7 or higher, and then the it, it number ranges mean what they mean, and a miss means a 6 or lower. Mm -hmm. You get both effects there. And I'm just trying to... I think it would be insecure okay. in this moment. Button. Alright. So... Yeah, so I'm going to do constructs. Okay. Spend a burn to create any object with your power up to the size of a person. Spend an additional burn to animate it independently of yourself. Hmm, maybe not. And you don't have moat? Do you have moat? I don't have moat right now. Okay. Maybe... I should have looked at these before I <laughs> said, yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> oh, hey, you saw that, you, that, you, that burn just holds until... Until the end of the fight, right? In, in, in the scenario, so you can still use it for other things, too. What, which flares do you have? I have Reality Storm, Shielding, Constructs, and Overcharge. Alright, well, you can. I would say you could... Yeah, well, you can just, yeah, I can say in this case you're trying to, actually, you know what, just roll to, to defend somebody. That's totally what you're doing. Okay. So roll plus savior. Unfortunately, shielding is right now bad for you because your freak is worse than your savior. <laughs> Oops. Um, so. One second here, I should also check. Ten. Twelve. Oh, wait. 
Well, if you're tw you rolled a twelve, then I don't don't think it really matters what your condition mark me have because you're gonna blow through them regardless. But mostly give a minus two. So. <laughs> On a hit, you do it, and then you get to choose one. Add a team to the pool. Uh, take influence of someone over someone you protect. Or a third option that escapes me at the moment. There it is. Clear a condition. I'll clear that condition I just marked. <laughs> Alright, so you are no longer insecure. I'm not insecure anymore. <laughs> You're briefly insecure. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, is this gonna work? You, you, char oh. you, you charge up, it's like, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. And it's like, you breathe out, it's like, let's do this carefully. Eek. Yay! So yeah, you kind of, uh, kind of put, kind of box them in for right now, um, and you kind of, uh, if you kind of, you, you kind of, they're kind of like, words. And you, you kind of, just a box kind of, shunk around them. Just, you hear it's like you, you, the screaming stops. You hear a voice. Uh, Hello. Hello. What's going on? Uh, weird distortions. Where are you? You kind, of, you kind of see it, you hear footsteps and you see a uh, a, a woman kind of leaning out looks you see a um, middle-aged woman um, dressed very very professionally like thing um notably she's uh, she's got a badge around her neck so like a backstage okay. pass kind of badge okay um her features are um, yeah, she's uh, Caucasian. Um, as you kind of look at her, you like normally it's like she seems like similar, and you kind of like look at her, kind of look up, look down, and like she looks a little bit sim similar to the Trubador who's in the psychic center of the psychic phenomenon here. Hmm. Are you part of a rescue team? Um, sort of. I was here when everything started and just trying to help. Right, great, brain. I am having brain fart. No worries. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about uh, it. Ah, you're part of that team, Ironworks, right? Not a... Okay, let's not go with that. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, what's the Team Forge, uh... And, uh, his children would be... Uh... I, mean, they all kind of I mean, the Ironworks, I do like... I do think that would be very fitting, ironically. <laughs> Yeah, they all kind of have like a very blacksmithy theme to them. <laughs> With Inferno being the fire. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yes, um. Have you seen my son anywhere? He was. He was just about to go on stage when this whole thing happened. Um, Am I here right now? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, yeah, I. It depends. Archangel will kind of... Who's your son? Archangel does point to the distortion light thing because she did notice the similarities between her and the person there. And she'll say, uh, I think that's him. <laughs> no, that couldn't be him. Um, are you sure? He's a Is musician, he not some sort of superhero. <laughs> Who isn't a superhero these days? Are you positive he doesn't have any sort of powers, though? I'm positive. We have a very... 
I have been with him for so much of this thing, I feel like if there was anything that he had, I would be the one to know. Um, that he had? You're almost it making it sound like this is an illness. Well, I'm sorry, it's not exactly conducive to a successful career, now is it? Aspen looked a little offended. <laughs> I mean, neither is a being a musician normally. She, she's offended on both fronts because she wanted to be a famous musician. That didn't work out. But now she's a hero, and now she's more offended. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, also, I feel like she's try she is going to be shifting your 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 labels. Um, she is driving your savior down and your freak up. Yep, I'll take that. Oof. I'll take it. This is both of us, right? Yeah, both of you. It's, it was a pr it was a pretty much that one was addressed to whom to whom it may concern. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Making me feel so much better about myself and all of my aspects of life. Savior. Oh, down. oh, you're saving. Wait, can I go down more? If you go try to go down more, you'll mark a condition. So, do you want to accept that or do you want to reject that? I'm gonna reject that. All right, roll two d six. Add. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Four. Okay, you are about to get some emotional. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mark angry. Hey, I probably am. I feel like angry is always marked. Yeah, because um, you get to mark it. So basically, what's supposed to happen when you fail to reject their influence? You mark a condition, and then they shift your influence. So I get to mark a second condition. And unfortunately, you already have insecure marked, which is totally what I would mark right now. Um, we can only play so many games of laser tag. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to figure out something else. Because <laughs> we need some serious help, man. Guilty. Okay. Do you want to say how, how you feel guilty in this situation? Like I, my because of my own powers mm -hmm. and the fact that you know, I mean, like I was very into music. I had you know, like a future mm -hmm. going, and then I got my powers, and I ran away from school, literally dropping yeah, out of school. You. Like I, I dropped out of school because I got my powers. So okay, cool. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That doesn't that's... give me a very uh. So I'm feeling a little guilty about that right now. I'm feeling a little called out. <laughs> but yeah, so as kind of the... <sighs> hey, sorry, just... I get to make a move here, so I'm just trying to figure out what I want to... <sighs> no, it's not the right time for that. Yeah. How else can we mess with mess with you guys today? <laughs> Thanks, much appreciate. Oh no, I know it's like as you both kind of have a like as you kind of like you're basically during this whole thing like uh as been as someone who is close to uh the uh. You kind of feel just kind of the rage and just kind of emanate off of her. It, it's not enough, but it is enough to twinge your attention. Okay. Uh... And the prize box is opening up. And yeah. they're not focused on her at the moment. They are running towards you. Damn it. Yes, Artemis and Archangel, you see a, a crowd of crazed concert goers rushing at you. Their eyes right now shining white. I don't remember. It would have been white. It was white. Shining black was the uh, the other stage. Okay, yeah. yeah they're shining white. Fangirls. Very dangerous thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey. The, the, this, they're 
not necessarily fangirls. There could be some fanboys there. Some fan men. Yeah, just gender neutral. And fan men. It's just a mosh pit, let's be honest. They are rushing at you, so... Artemis, what do you do? Um... Pull out my arrow. Alright. And shoot them. Oh, hold on, don't shoot No, don't shoot them! Or... No, wait! No, wait! You I'm... got vines. You got vines. Use your vines. Okay, I'll use the vines. I'll use the vines. All right. Better plan. I was trying to think. No more. I was trying to think about like, okay, is there something I could shoot that could be like created as a diversion, or but the vines are a better diversion. It's better diversion. Plus, the only thing I think we could shoot are the rafters, and we really don't want those lights coming down. All right, that could squish someone. Yep. Roll to directly engage a threat. Mm hmm. A roll plus danger. Back off now. I need space. I need space from the Tom Your Tom Berry's still trying to eat you. No, he, he, it's, it's even different. It's like Zeph's Tom Berry. Four, four, <laughs> five, six, six. All right, F. Remember, you have team in the pool. You can, you can, either a teammate can spend team to help, or you can spend team selfishly. I mean, I could um, spend a team. Are you willing I to could... spend team to help? Huh? Yeah, I'll spend team to help. How do, how does the you helping, uh, the vines look like, uh, Archangel? What do you do to help? I feel like I would um. I'm trying to think about how I want to explain this. Um, think about, like, a a protective coating that you would, like, I could, English is not my first language today. <laughs> um, but she kind of, she wraps the vines in, like, a, um, a protective cover to help strengthen and. Okay, so she reinforces the, okay. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> All right, so that bumps it up to a seven to nine. I'm directly engage a hit. What did I even say there? Directly engage a get. <laughs> English Obviously, is not a uh, language. Let's be honest. Yes, you a premium get. Yeah, you know, you directly engage a get against your your further fi uh, figure. <laughs> oh no, he's changing the Swedish with the chef. Who is the different with you? <laughs> All right, so on a hit, trade blows. On a seven to nine, pick one. Resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Create an opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit if you don't take if you don't get in this situation though. So wait, because I only can pick one, right? You only get to pick one. What are the other options? Resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Great opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or frighten. Resist or avoid their blows. Okay. But yeah. So oh. the kind of the you kind of just pure goddamn god, and you just like <laughs> hand, hand around, and suddenly just they erupt from nowhere around them, and just kind of like kind of do the kind of that burrowing kind of wave motion, and just kind of tangle up the uh, the the uh, frenzied forms. They're like. But not um, able to actually maneuver enough, so. Uh, the, uh, the mother is, like, looking a little taken aback at the, the, uh, Ow. response is like, do you have anything to say to her after you, uh, just batch up um. the... I don't think so. Okay. So, hmm. to be fair, there's a difference between certain utility and services you provide. You make us sound like social workers. Social workers? That's. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> that's. <laughs> To be fair, Aspen probably doesn't really pay that much attention, and she's just... Well, to be fair, I, I think that might be something that Aspen actually thinks about, because, you know, you probably had to deal with a few of them due to a, do a, do a late adopt, like, childhood adoption and everything like that. Yeah. Hmm. 
Um, so that's 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 a fair thing. Emergency workers, come on. You know, we should have probably just been Team Orphan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My character's not an orphan. Yeah. Either. But that's revealing. Yeah, mine. My... identity. Mine's not an orphan either. She just ran away. So. Yeah, there's at least half the team is not orphan. <laughs> but those of us. One is half. Dead. One is half orphan. Team no <laughs> parents. But those of us who. Wait, who's half orphan? Dante has no mother. Oh, right. Oh, right, because mom walked walked out, right? No, no, no. Oh, she's no. dead. She's, she's dead. dead, yeah. Dante has no uh, yeah, mother, yeah, and everyone else, uh, else, else is either orphaned or ran away. And I might as well not have any, because I'm not in contact with them anymore. Right. They That's have right. no clue where I am. Mm. So, I mean, they probably have some clue, because I'm sure um, Aspen is in contact with them, but... Oh, yeah, probably. Okay, so mm-hmm. Team Runaway would probably be better. Probably. I'm sure that's I, I, unfortunately that's a little getting too close to something that's copyrighted. <laughs> the Runaways. Uh, yeah. So social workers, he's like, that's interesting. Day two. But... Look, do you want our help finding your son or not? You said he was about to go on stage. Yes. As I saw. I was making a discussion of with the venue feed about the appalling conditions we had. We had a very specific contract, and we were going to. And there were so many numerous details that were overlooked. You're one of those crazy sage moms, aren't you? Icky, aren't you? Freaking Karen. <laughs> no, it's not a Karen. The, the, it is a the sta- the uh, stage mom that lives. Is living vicariously through their their oh, offspring. Yeah. Kind of that, that was that was in character, by the way. I know, I know. Okay, so. I understand. That. I just I was just explaining for sex. I am nothing of the sort. Everything I do, I'm doing for him. Really? Do you ever stop and ask him if this is what he wanted? You know, I bet he didn't even want to be a musician. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm waiting for the right line to, I have like a trap that is waiting to spring, I'm just waiting for the right Actually, line. Actually, can I go on, because there's, there's been a trap. There's been a trap. I've, I've already laid it. Go! <laughs> yeah. You know, my dad's kind of like you. Don't bring him into this, the, uh. <laughs> danger, danger, danger. Uh, your father would be. Don't. God. Who is that? God! He's a Greek she, god. She said it! I you were <laughs> <to> <laughs> know that. Now that we've opened the can of worms. You know, Greek god of thunder. I don't Lightning? Have time. I don't have time for fanciful stories. Light- Fantasy stories. It. Fancy. Don't told. get into fanciful. It. See ya. Stop. Now's not the time. No, now is definitely the time. No, it's. I'm not gonna sit around helping someone who is basically just like my father. You know, just like you are forcing your son into this because you. Probably, let's see, I'm just going to think that you probably had some big, grander dreams of performing on stage, but you just weren't good enough to hack it. Oh, Oh, really? (laughs) (laughs) Aslan's like, I'm not putting up with this. We're done. We're leaving. Bye. (laughs) <laughs> as as Aspen as Aspen kind of turns to and like tries to grab like grab Thea by yeah. the like the like the back of the shirt to try to yank her like I normally say grab her by the arm but it's not usually a smart decision. Uh, and try to drag her away. You hear a 
thud on top of the guitar that kind of echoes through it. And Ow. As you kind of turn away, you hear a familiar voice with that feels a voice that you know, but doesn't usually sound like that. Young lady, where do you think you're going? Oh. <laughs> and you look Great. up. Great. And you see Forge, his eyes glowing white. Oh. It's Cut to! Great place to cut away from. Oh, yeah, no, no. I, I was just trying to get just had to get to that one point. I was just like, I was waiting for a good line for him to respond to as he showed up. I was just n not thinking of anything with what you guys were saying. I was like, like I know, you... I was trying to, it's trying to get something in there for you, but I was like, <laughs> eh, eh, all eh. Set? Yeah, let's cut over to Inferno and uh, and Dante. You mean babysitting duty? I find. Oh, yeah. babysitter. <laughs> so last, I believe you guys you guys saw the glowing light and you were heading in that kind of that direction, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Me pulling my sister along in an empty mop bucket. Yeah, so <laughs> an empty as long mop as she's bucket. happy, right? And, you know, she, we, last we saw, you know, the, the wave came through and she's like, there are the bubbles and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> As I'm sure he's, she's still going on about, I want to see the bubbles. You do another one. Can you? Brat, don't be respectful. This is a hero. Not it. Danny, you know really lame heroes! I, I'm like looking over at a bit of like, now you know what I have to deal with. <laughs> Why do you wear the suit? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, well, that is actually a good question. In character, I didn't get that. Uh, did you like fart or something? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I'm made out of fire. Oh, he's completely Why'd you honest. do that? Ask the powers that be. <laughs> <laughs> Why would Dad out? know? He says to over to Dante. <laughs> that their dad, the powers that be? In her mind. <laughs> Keep in mind, she is just a kid. So she she is asking her older brother about that. Yeah. I'm like, no. That's not how it works. Never mind, different heroes of different origins. It would be disrespectful to d dive too much into what happened to him if he doesn't want to share. I guess. Can he do anything cool, though? Like, he just sulks. <laughs> I, I like look at He's him. like one of your friends. <laughs> Trust me, if we run into a big monster, you'll see how cool he is. Thank you for the line. You hear a voice. Uh, Dante, you hear a voice. Actually, you both hear a voice mm -hmm. that sounds very familiar to the both of you. Dante for more positive reasons, and Inferno for more traumatic reasons. Mm -hmm. But what kind of, but what monsters might you find? As you see, Ember walk around the corner, her hair kind of glowing blue, and her eyes glowing white. 
Uh, I do want to clarify. Do I recognize it is Ember specifically? She has the black eye. She has the same facial oh. features. Yeah, it's enough to. Oh, oh, oh this, this is an obvious situation. <laughs> yeah, this is not a. Although the blue hair is new, but I, I'm not. I, I'm gonna discredit that at the moment. I, I think what I'm uh, what I what I've been interpreting is her hair goes blue when she really exerts her power. Oh yeah. But keep in mind, my character does not know her secret just entirely yet. I mean, she you know she like, does. Unless, you do know she has powers, but... Yes, I do where she has some powers, but I don't know, like, this whole alternate identity of hers. Yep. Now to team... Oh, God, we're stuck with this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh, well, that's, that's <laughs> amazing team, Dave. Yeah, we've been we've been hiking towards uh, what we assume is uh, Archangel, at least since last session. But uh, we could derail that if you'd like. <laughs> oh no 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 no! That's it's like as you guys kind of you come across. Um... Okay, for some setting thing, you guys, the guitar was some distance away, so. Mm-hmm. So you're you're not immediately you're not invisible right at the hole. Okay. But the your crew the rest of you comes up to the hole and is like Where the fuck she is she? Hmm. You're the god of prophecy, don't you know something? <laughs> Bazinga. Beautiful, beautiful burn there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like... Mm. I quite enjoy <laughs> Blackbird's one-liners. <laughs> Gonna admit. Chef gets there. Sway for a moment of I am a sun god! Well, he is... Prophecy is in his portfolio. Huh? He's the, he's the pro, He is also a god of prophecies. Well, yeah, I know. And the god of... He's like a lot of different gods. Yeah, uh, that, that might be, that might be my to actually look at Black Room like, wait, what was he a god of? Supposedly? How do you know this? <laughs> Alright, so as you, well, the thing is like, excuse me? Oh, just thought you had all these in cool godlike powers. Yeah, I have some cool godlike powers. Want to see? And he reaches forward to grab you up by your uh, neck scruff. Neck I scruff? I don't know. He's not a cat! <laughs> hey, well, hey. Like, I don't know he's if he's, he's going to grab, like, your neck, your shirt, or something to kind of hoist you up. Kind of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coattails. He's a, he's a cloak by, by his coat. <laughs> his collar. Heck, yeah, you can always at least grab a t-shirt collar. Yeah, like I'm just I'm describing the motion. I I'm not committing to where he's actually going to grab mm -hmm. it from. I'm just giving you. Some, no, no, okay. worries, no, you're good. I'm giving you all. What we do you do? Uh, it's, yeah. It's, as it's, as much as I would love to see what power stronger demons or gods, I think we're wasting effort here. Well, he still grabs you, then. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of lifting you up by your by your shirt. Let's just say. Well, ho, ho, ho! Hold on, hold on. Okay. We're all looking for the same thing here. Okay, I, I thought you were saying hold on to me as the GM, not uh, in character. No, so no, no! I'm saying hold on in character. Yeah. So he's like, "Don't worry, I'm sure this little woodpecker can fly." Oh. Have I seen him Red fly? Pecker. That's barely even black. <laughs> Have I actually <laughs> seen him fly? Hold on. <laughs> and he just tries to yeet you up in the air. Alright. So apparently he's a shit bird. He's a woodpecker. Well, no, no, the point is that Apollo never gets the name right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use I don't want to use Inferno signature thing because I feel like that that's just well, he's no, black bird. Penguin? Oh yeah, he knows Blackbird's at name. Blackbird. He just chooses not to use it. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what does uh, Blackbird do with their new uh, found uh, 
height advantage. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take him off on his doctor and uh, use my uh, powers to actually grow demonic black wings. That's a thing you can do? I believe so. I think one of my powers was uh, transformation. All right. Mm. Roll to unleash your powers. Good point. <laughs> I'm not angry, so I don't get a bonus. Are you, um, oh, what's the one that's... Um, are you hopeless? But you're not anything. I'm... No, I'm, I'm free on all my things, but I got okay. an 8 anyway, so. Alright, <laughs> so either the effect is unstable or temporary, or you get to mark a condition. Uh, we'll go unstable or temporary. <laughs> go ahead and mark another uh, thing on your doom track. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, it's uh, Basically, you had to put a lot more force into it and overexerting yourself. Doom. Yep. Doom! <laughs> what? His wings don't disappear? No, I'm not gonna, like... Doom! I, I, he's gonna die if, with that tr with, if, with his, on his own. I don't need to push... Well, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, he. I'm there to potentially save him. <laughs> if I need to, but that would probably just be real bad <laughs> for his ego. That's a different thing entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My character has, the, has quote-unquote flight and transfer... and, and body transformation. It's Absolutely enough power to potentially help him. <laughs> yeah. So what do you say when you after you erupt the wings? Yeah, I was gonna say you were saying cocky little darling. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, like as much as he does not get your name, apparently he is very knowledgeable about birds. Like, like, oh man, I'm in. That's pretty solid bird knowledge. Well, yeah, he had to uh, look up all this poetry. <laughs> yeah, so I say it wouldn't surprise me if he knew a lot about birds, actually. Anyway, do I see anything well up in the air? Well, you will see something in a second. One thing you are brand you... new head cannon. As what? Spiros, he was oh, he was an obsessive bird watcher. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> Maybe, maybe he used birds to try and impress girls. Yeah, he needs to compare them to someone. To birds, so. Yes. Um... And he accidentally compares a girl to a crow. <laughs> yeah, and he like ate dudes it. Like their, dudes like crows. Come on. Then he ate crow. I mean, crows are cool, but no girl wants to be compared to a crow. <laughs> Better than a well, I'm pretty sure that girl was probably Aspen. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, like a girl, girl might take the compliment of it be called pro. So yeah, so um, as you kind of look, you kind of look like you see like, hey, you look over the distance, you say like, hey, wait, I see something? I see a purple, is that a purple box? And you like, then you see like a little mini explosion as the uh, forge. Does his landing, and he's like, "Oh dear!" Fortunately, while well, your attention to that, a you look you look down to kind of say something to the rest of the team, and you know, suddenly there is an Apollo launching at you. <laughs> oh, dude! An Apollo! Hey, Apollo rockets la launch! I've experienced <laughs> this, <laughs> and we're not talking about the dog. You mean won't be a disaster. Is this a normal Apollo or a Apollo with white eyes? Nope, this is normal. Okay. This is just a very angry Apollo. All right. He's well, glowing, uh, and he looks like he's ready to just smack you with a haymaker because he's just getting annoyed at all your little cheek and ah, tongue and cheek, cheek and tongue. <laughs> well. Blackbird not being the one to back down, he's going to uh, send a blast to Paul's way. Oh, of course. All right. Roll to directly engage a threat. All right. 
I am. I dangered minus one now. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah, as you kind of do the blast, he kind of catches it and just kind of deflects it to the side. There's a small explosion. And he's like grabs you and he's like You fly you fly fine. See how you land and he just kinda of flings you back down to the earth. Oh no no what he says is no, this is what he says. Hey Icarus, meet the sun. Then he oh. throws you down <laughs> to the earth. Jeez. It was so good of a line, I could not pass it up. God. No, I That's good. But so cheesy. Oh yeah. So uh, I imagine I'm taking a powerful blow. Yeah, you go ahead and take a powerful blow. Alright. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically wait until after this to uh to intervene again. Or try to intervene. Well, I don't have any conditions, so just blank roll. We don't do blank rolls. Those take start to take over the game. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Rad, you weren't even there. <laughs> He's heard us tell the stories, I think. Of <laughs> uh, five. You weather the blow. Explain how you <laughs> survived this meteor <laughs> spike unscathed, or at least not substantially scathed. Meteor spike. I mean, uh, well, you know, the double, the triple jump. Plus the, you know, <laughs> the wall, the, the edge trumping, pretty easy. Uh, I think I'm just going to kind of have, Good like, um, do a kind of Dragon Ball Z aura is going to protect me, like, as I kind of float there. Okay, so you kind of, you managed to magically air break? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, as you kind of look up, and, it, like, Apollo is still drifting up upward in the sky, kind of thing, like, He's just like he's about like the thing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Once again, uh, Regalia is going to go in between them. He's basically going to step directly in between them, sort of in it's, midair. Yeah. Uh, directly between you. What is what? Stop! 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 What are you two doing? We are in the middle of some kind of psychic something scape, and the two of you are are fighting over what? Some dumb words? Aren't we looking for our friends and or family? What is this? We have more important things to worry about. Don't I have in influence over both of them? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me check here. I might not have influence over Blackbird. I know I got influence over, uh, what's his name, last session? Paulo, yeah. Or Paulo. Uh -huh. Yep, Regalia has influence over both of you. Yeah, so both of... Uh, go ahead and... I don't know what, I don't know what role this is. I, don't I mean, it's, it's, you, it's, it's still provoke. I'm just trying to figure still out... Okay. The, the provoke does weird... You know what, just roll it, and we'll just apply both versions to both people. Because there's two different versions Nine. of it. Nine. <laughs> All right. So, on Provoke versus a PC, we'll resolve that part first. You get to choose one. If they do it, add a team to the pool. If they don't do it, they mark a condition. So you can either choose Carrot or Stick. Uh, if they do it, add a team to the pool. Okay. And on an NPC. Oh, let's first do. Like, backward. Are you going to back down at this point? Uh... <sighs> that is... Good question. All right, it's uh, oh, possible if I uh, take it. What? It's a potential if I take it, right? Uh, no, add a team uh, to the pool. All right. Uh, Maybe I should have done the other one. I should have thought about. <laughs> <laughs> no, this makes sense. It actually just helps everybody if he's just. Yeah, oh, but yeah. like this is also I'm trying to sh but also in context I'm trying to shame him so if he doesn't do it he might feel guilty. 
So maybe the other one is more appropriate. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I'm just gonna go with this because I uh, wanted to, I want to kind of do this anyway. So, yeah, this is kind of a great a great opportunity to do so. So yeah, I'm going to uh, reject this. Okay. So yeah, you so like you're just like looking past them and you're about ready to charge. It's like Apollo uh, on a, on a seven nine. They can ins instead of doing what you want, they can choose. They stumble. I'm gonna choose. They stumble. Take plus one forward against them. And he's like, he's like, oh, this, this stupid thing. And he's like, fine. I'll just, we'll just end the, this whole thing here. And he rushes straight at the energy field, the thing that's the set at the center of this whole little dome. And as he kind of enters the field, he kind of just stops, <clears throat> dead in his tracks. And kind of does that slow levitating turn, and now his eyes are glowing white. <gasps> oh, Apollo, you big dumbass! So there, now you know one thing not to do. <laughs> so what happened? Apollo was like, like uh, uh Regalia trying to get between uh. Apollo and Blackbird. Okay. Uh, Apollo's like, you know, mentioning like we're in the middle of a crisis and like, fine, you, we're in a crisis. Is that your problem? Fine, I'll solve this in an instant. And he, and he flew out to try to attack the the source. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he got near it, he stopped, turned and started turning. His eyes now glowing white because he got too close to the source. Yep. That's how I figured out how to mind whammy Apollo without having, uh... Without taking his god powers away? Without making it so it didn't make any sense that you weren't getting mind whammied. Take his god powers away. He's that not taking his... Way. I never said a thing about taking god powers away. But I'm saying that's what we would have had to do otherwise. No. Dang mind whammies. No. That would have been the answer. Except for the problem is, is if I wanted to be a foe, I don't can't take those away. Yeah. Speaking of foes and things that are trying to take away, or just now suddenly rocketing towards Archangel. I think, and shouting, I think it's time for you to go into time out. <laughs> My five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me let me say that again. Oh, I had it in my head, and now it's gone. Um, can I ask? Yes, yeah, I'm just setting up. This is what hap is happening right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I have a plan. Um. Okay, so I end up. Um, there's like a large like pillar or something okay. nearby me okay. that I'm going to shoot at okay. in an attempt to knock something down. Well, that or the rafters. I might be trying to shoot well, the rafters. Well, no, no, the, the pillar's fine. Like, the pillar's fine. Okay. What's on What's on the top? What's What big heavy thing is on top of that pillar? Like, it, it's kind of open sky here, so I figure this is just like this is one of the support structures. I think there's like this like gargoyle statue type of thing. Sure. On top of it. It was it's one of the te decorations for like one of uh, the death metal bands. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's what I figure. So now what I'm gonna do with that actually because I'm not gonna shoot at it because I I forgot that I have one other special power. Mm -hmm. I have super strength. Oh, yeah. I forgot that I had super strength for a while there. Because all the gods have super strength. Yeah. <laughs> so I just kind of, um, I I punch the pillar. Okay. Basically. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't feel like you're directly engaging a threat in this moment. You're not really reshaping it. I think you're just defending Aspen. I am. So, roll plus savior. how this goes. Six. Four, because I have minus two. Oh. All right. Ow. That's 
that's uh, honestly there would have been almost no way to make this an actual good roll because mm -hmm. I have minus two savior. Because mm -hmm. it would have been good if I didn't have minus two savior. Yeah. I would have had to like roll a nine to make it actually decent. Mm-hmm. Yep, no, I understand that. So let me take a look here. Well you do get potential, at least. Yep, mark potential. Remember, mark potential for every time you failed as well. All right. Where is potential? Potential, potential, potential. Can't yeah, I find it? It's right under advancement. There we go. Is there any, was there any other fails this session? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I think there was there was yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the pillar kind of hit, kind of crushes up. It does actually divert uh, forge. Unfortunately, it also. Oh no! Slams right slams right in front of the in front of uh, Aspen, sending shrapnel and just playing kind of knocking her back on her. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna like land on her. I was like, I'm gonna kill my best friend. Oh no! No, you're no, you're not killing your no one. Death is most part not on the table unless it's dramatically appropriate, or Mister Doom Track has to mark his last Doom sign. <laughs> yeah, and then that way he's at least gonna go down. Oh my god! Oh shit! Uh, fudge, fudge. You okay? He actually went down. Oh yeah. It's been fuzzy for a bit. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was a joke. Hey guys, wanna watch my speed run? <laughs> Anyways, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, you know, oh, you, you know, yeah, unfortunately, as long as we're down, no one else gets to hear it other than you guys, so. Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, so they missed my joke about me speedrunning the uh, Doom. <laughs> um, yes. Uh. Um, so, yeah, they, so Asman has to take a powerful blow right now. Oh, and what do I roll against for that? Uh, roll plus conditions mark. Oh, okay. Give me just a second. Rich, I think you just took two, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I've only got two okay. conditions marked. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the Nova. Now it's time to start paying those those uh uh Nova dues. So you must no kidding. Remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. Lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way, or choose two options from the seven to nine list. Seven to nine. Hold on. Read read the first set one more time. Remove yourself from the situation by either fleeing, passing out, etc. Lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way, or choose two options from the seven to nine list. And the seven to nine list is lash out verbally, provoke a teammate to foolhardy action, or take advantage of your influence to inflict a condition. Give ground; your opposition gains an opportunity, or you struggle past the pain, marking two conditions. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with lose control of myself or powers. All right. Actually. <laughs> Good. I was hoping for that because I, I realized, you know, for being the Nova, you haven't had much of the Nova collateral damage going on thing. <laughs> Too much, yeah. I've been lucky. I know. No, that's for me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so you are made of fire. <laughs> like as the as you see the pillar kind of crash coming, 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 crashing on, you're you're just like okay. I can just form a barrier and such of this, and then something just kind of a flash in your mind of that burning building with the stupid cat. The stupid oh, this cat? cat. Yes. It, the, yeah, the Cheshire cat. Oh, yeah. The stupid cat boy. Kill him. <laughs> and you're just, you just have a, like, a flashpoint of, like, rage kind of thing. Like that full, well, are you angry right now? I don't remember. I am. Yeah, you're, you're. I am angry. <laughs> so your anger kind of just boils through and just kind of like, you don't actually get in this case. You don't actually get knocked back by the statue, because instead you're just 
like you know the, like the classic like spikes just kind of erupting out of the ground shockwave kind of thing yeah that's what happens and as you kind of your like your vision kind of like you kind of like black out for like a second kind of thing as you just your power went control auto control and looking at looking around you know like you see uh forge heading for uh, artemis right now and you look over at the guitar and you see the woman and one of those spikes is right now going through her shoulder oh no I was like, are you guilty yet? I am. <laughs> I already have guilty more. <laughs> oh. uh, Pretty sure guilty is going to be perpetual for this game. <laughs> Almost. Oh, that's I've a had time guilty sa- since day one, so... That's a time saver. So, jumping... We just kind of have that last panel. As we jump back over to... Uh, Inferno and Dante... As Inferno, how are you? As Ember is just kind of kind of conjuring up these ash uh, bullets and just fire, just fire adding them at, at at you, just kind of like, does it really matter? Does any of it? What do you do? Um, yeah, I create a yeah wall of flames to you know. Yeah, uh, to protect, uh, yeah, yeah, Dante and All right. Mary. All right, go ahead and roll to defend. Which one is that? Savior. Savior. That was four. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, it's gonna suck for you regardless. But, um, looking at the what conditions affect, they don't. None of them change defend at all. There's no condition that. Oh, wait, stand in defense, insecure. Okay, there it is. It just wasn't bold like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Oh. So yeah, you do create the firewall and everything. And it does just incinerate the ash to nothingness. Mm-hmm. However, you burn a bunch of other things, mm-hmm. and suddenly there is as you kind of like as kind of like you kind of cl- dismiss the firewall to kind of like kind of after after the kind of the attack stops, and suddenly there is just the giant <sighs> and kind of lift of these ashen hands. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, you think you're hot stuff, don't you? Okay, what are you doing right now? Dante is a little concerned. He, I imagine he's trying to shelter his sister away. But, like, I imagine he's trying to find a safe place to put his sister so that way... He can have his opening to finally help out here. All right. What 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 do you find nearby in this that looks like some place you could kind of keep her, keep her secret, keep her safe? Mm. Well, I'm just trying to remember. So this kind of is a more wide open. It is mostly wide open. Two just... solid things on a floating abyss, basically. Um, no, no, it's like the stadium got kind of flattened out and then stretched into a, a, a sphere. And you're okay. on the inside of it. So there are random there are random features of the stadium, and, like, it could be anything. They're fighting in front of a giant guitar. Uh, I was going to suggest uh, if you have any moves that might help with this. Unfortunately, I do not really have a huge amount in this situation. So... My idea was to try and find, like, it, you know what, if I see, like, there's a nearby booth. Yeah, probably I was just that. asking you what it looked like. That, that's all I was saying. You find, I'm saying you find a place, it's just, what is it? What is it? It is a nearby booth. They were selling t-shirts. Okay. And you kind of, like, <laughs> run with the, the bucket, and it's like, 
Because as you kind of kind of hoist her down in there, and he's like, "Girlfriend's scary." I know. I, I'm gonna go try to talk with her. You stay here. Be safe. Like, just tucking her in like one of the t-shirt boxes, making sure she, she's comfy for a moment. And then, once I'm out of line of sight of both, finally, activate transformation sequence. <laughs> Everyone is like, even Apollo's a little dimmed out from that relative light show. <laughs> but yes, you know. Well, that way, Cutie Carbuncle could finally contribute to this more of it. <laughs> All right, what do you do? Um, oh, actually, no, I'm just going to say this. She, she like, looks at you and is like, keep You're her? Her line of sight as well. I imagine this is me trying to keep my secret from both of them at the moment. I want to make, have you make a roll here, so, because I want the, the plot point of Ember finding out your secret identity right now is something what? I really would like to see. But oh, I don't yeah. no, force no, you. I'm going to give you a roll. I'm going to still give you a roll here. So I, It could be interesting either way. So I'm just trying to figure out what I would have you roll. Um, okay, here's what you can do. Either roll, uh, either roll mundane or your mask label. Which I'm pretty sure are the same thing right now. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot. My mundane got shifted down, so. Freak. I will use. I'm rolling freak on here. <laughs> All right. That, that's only a seven. So. All right. What, what would I have to do to gain a plus one to that? Uh, plus one isn't going to shift it. Yeah. yeah. I'd have to spend a team to do that. And I'd also probably have to make sense of. Well, no, no. Uh, you have to be. You have to bring it up to a ten to change the result. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it was a uh, six, then you could change it to a seven to get a good result. Okay. Uh, I was. I was gonna use. Darn it! I was gonna use my power at some point to save their lives in order to do that dramatic reveal to save them type situation, but. No, no, I guess my girlfriend's just gonna get to find. No, out. no, no. You, I'm gonna give you a choice here. I'm gonna give you it. You get, you got, you got a weak success, so you can keep it safe. You can keep it somewhat safe here. Ow. So, so. What I'm gonna here is, here's your choices. You can either reveal your identity to either your sister or Ember. Or you can keep it, or or Inferno will have to take a powerful blow. So you can choose to either reveal it to one of those two, or Inferno will take a powerful blow. You know what? In some ways, I kind of like the idea that Ember doesn't know. So I like the idea, I think, in theory, just to make the situation even more awkward for me. My sister doesn't listen when I tell her to look, and she peeks out and sees me change. Yes, okay. The, the idea is basically, I just use the classic kind of like, oh, so I faked a move there, so at 79, you get a hard choice, so. No, 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 that makes sense. And I love this idea. It's very unlikely my sister would have, hopefully won't get in danger too often, but I think it would be more impactful to have my identity revealed later to my girlfriend. Yes. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You're not take, you're making me take the powerful blow. <laughs> uh, originally, it was going to be no, okay. My sister is going to find out my identity, even against my wishes. Yeah. No. I uh, originally I was going to just say it was one of the two. You reveal your identity to one of the two, but I feel like mm, that wasn't fair. I I want to give you a way to keep both of them secret. Go ahead and mark potential though. Oh. Because. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So someone get a new move. Someone gets a. Uh, and so, you know, and there's things other than getting moves you can get with it advances. Remember that. As you... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as Ember's kind of, like... Let's play hot potato. And she's just... <laughs> she's, as she starts squeezing... How does Cutie Carbuncle bombastically enter the scene? I imagine, like, as she's playing, uh... 
Like I met, get, so give me like if she's trying to throw an attack at Inferno, cute no. carbuncle conjures like a uh, tennis racket and just bats it away. Okay, no, here's what happens. She says, she says, hot here. So she starts, she makes, she's about to toss Inferno between the two hands and just kind of bat him back and forth. Instead, you kind of uh, tennis racket, boop, bounce, bounce him in a more controlled manner to, as, as Inferno kind of. Skid superhero landing, leaving Brink's uh, trail behind as you kind of turn to face uh, Ember. With that, I give him like his general smile, a smile and go like, sorry I'm late, but I'm here to help now. So we're going to cup, jump over to uh, on that panel. Actually, no, uh, Ember gets one reaction, then we jump over. She just kind of looks at you as like, I already had a migraine. Now I'm going to have to complain about you to my boyfriend later tonight. Oh, no, that, that was good stuff. <laughs> and now we jump over to uh, Team Eclipse. Ah. Uh, that's a pretty good name. Trying to blot out the sun. Mm-hmm. Oh. Regalia, um, you're kind of looking up at Apollo, and he's like, he's now suddenly charging at you, charging at both of you now. Um, he definitely seems a little different. He's not shouting, trying to be, just not shouting anything. He's just giving a guttural yell. What do you do? Also, he's on uh, fire. He's on yeah. Oh, okay. He's not just super strengthening, he's going like full, like, I am the sun, you are all going to burn. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, oh, sorry, you want to go ahead? I, oh, I mean, evasive action, first and foremost. Uh, as he begins to fish around in his pocket. No, you, you have time to react, so we're, we're not going to just have you dodge and then do something. Say what you're doing. Uh, oh, well, go, go, go ahead, Blackbird, you, you, because my character is... Okay, well, <laughs> my, my idea was, like, basically going to take this out quite, uh, and make it null and void anyway. So, I, I didn't want to take your thunder if you are banned to something. Oh, no, it's not something super, uh, useful uh, at right. the moment. Alright, well, I, I was going to use my, uh, Doom Tracker and take an adult move. Okay. Which move? And I... I'm thinking, um, I could either overwhelm a foe or uh, wield my powers. Um, so. I'm not going to say, you can't, it says overwhelm a vulnerable foe. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess I'll wield my powers then. All right. How does that, what is, what, how does that look? Uh, Blackbird is basically, uh, going to turn into a giant, uh, avatar of his demon form, and, uh, just kind of uh, grasp Apollo in like a darkness All right. to uh, All right. neutralize an opponent or a threat, at least for now. Okay, so roll plus freak. All right. Yeah, I should also mark my doom track. Uh, ten. Get pick two. Pick two. All right. So yeah, I'm doing that, and I guess um, let's create something useful in the friendly environment. Right. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. You. Uh, yeah. You kind of just neutralize him, kind of lock him in, such and. Okay. I know what this is gonna do. Okay. You kind of, the you just do the dark west wave, and he's kind of fighting and kind of clawing at it. He's just like, Argh! and the blast hits the 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 barrier around. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna switch. I can't say the the stage name. Villain name. The the character name. The hero villain name is feedback. 
Okay. So I'm just going to start calling him Feedback because it's much easier for me to say. Mm -hmm. I'm epic. Uh, feedback hits Feedback's barrier, and suddenly a another whoosh kind of goes through. This one being a white wave. And all three of you kind of see your adversaries as that wave passes over. Uh, Carbuncle, you notice a you as you kind of turn as you kind of turn. And you, actually, no, I'll 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 explain that later when we get back to your scenes. But I don't have to say anything special right now. The wave goes through, and all of your adversaries just kind of their eyes as you know, like Orge is rocketing towards you. His eyes go black, and he just slumps to the ground. Uh -huh. As as Ember is is kind of gathering these this massive. Uh, Making this giant ash colossus, her eyes turn black and she just kind of lumps as the the, the ash just kind of, and Apollo just kind of eyes turn black and he's just like this, uh, and he kind of just slowly <laughs> floats the, down to the ground and kind of just lands on his knee. So that's did you what... do that? I don't look at Blackbird. Did you do that? <sighs> yeah. What did you do? Uh, can I do an assess the situation? Yes, yes you can. Oh, are you sure you don't want to just mark more doom to know exactly what you did? Uh, no, I, I think I'm good for uh, now. To doom uh, this session was pretty good. <laughs> Ah. All right. So that's uh, superior, right? Yep. Uh, eight. All right. You get to ask two questions. All right. No, wait, one. Sorry, I was just getting okay. the line. Right. What here can I use to blank? What here is the biggest threat? What here is in the greatest danger? What here is most vulnerable? How can we best end this quickly? Uh. Okay. Well, let's see. Regalia asked me, like, um, what did I do? So I guess that's kind of where I'm leading towards, like, direction-wise. Yep. So um, I'm going to say this could probably be it. You could probably get your best answer from this and best, how, best end this quickly. Yeah, okay. Sure, let's... Because um, what this is doing here is basically it seems like the, twice now a wave has kind of been triggered when that defensive sphere has been hit with a powerful enough burst. And so you think anytime it, it basically and it seems like there's two modes. There is a manic mode and a kind of a depressive mode. Mm. And apparently hitting it with enough the shield with enough, with enough power can cause it to switch modes prematurely. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably explain that in a better way. Uh, right, right. More Blackbird way. I'm like, uh, oh. Ow. So he's gonna wake up again soon. Awesome. Good job provoking him into almost killing us. Um. Ah. Uh, Yeah, uh, 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 Gilia looks up at um, uh, where um, <laughs> at the what's it called at the uh, what's it called the uh, uh the core, the Let's core, go. yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, so now what? Uh, also, to completely answer your question, um, clearly whatever is going on here is directly because of whatever is going on with him. Yeah. But well, approaching him will immediately brainwash us. All of this is caused by someone, so if we find that someone and take him out, I'm sure things will reshape itself. You mean the person in the middle that Apollo brainwashed himself by attempting to get Ow. near? Well, yes, but uh, now that uh, that thing's off in uh, no longer in uh, manic mode, as we'll call it, 
it might be more safer to go in without being completely maybe oh I look at Blackbird and I say do you have tin foil <laughs> and that's where we jump some jump scenes that is that is too great of a line to jump off, not jump off of so Ernest, you were just, you're like, had a, knocked an arrow and you're right as Forge was heading towards you. And suddenly another wave passed through and he just kind of plucks. Mm -hmm. As uh, Archangel uh, is now looking at a unintentional injury, like the, the spikes have kind of dissolved away like you do when you dismiss them, your constructs and such. But now it's, it's like, the, the wound is still there. What do you do? Uh. Mm -hmm. Panic. <laughs> Either one of you, like right now, like Forge is now laying down, just kind of, just not moving. His eyes now black. Um. Well, first of all, I am my first focus right now is on Archangel. Okay. Like checking on her, making sure she's okay. Hmm. She she is slightly panicked. So yeah, which is why that is Artemis's first focus. Like she does not care about Forge right now. She does not care about the. Bleeding out woman right now. <sighs> Such a good superhero. Oh, yeah. Wiggity woman. <laughs> the newest superhero in town. So, so you rush over to Archangel. What What is Archangel doing at the same time? I feel like she's sort of muttering to herself. Kind of like she used to when she was a kid. Um, things, Words along the lines of I didn't mean to do it. I didn't Ooh. hear that. Um, she said I didn't I'm mean I'm cutting to... out, yeah. That I didn't mean to do it. Check your knob to make sure. I understand. Yeah, it's all the way up. I could hear. It's just that little spot cut out. Okay. So it wasn't my volume. Okay. Yeah. It's not your fault. We lost Jane. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I was trying to figure out who we lost. Yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> she doesn't. She doesn't fully snap out of it. She's kind of. It's kind of like focus. Think. Think of it as like um, tunnel vision. So she's she's very focused on the. I didn't mean to. It's not my. I, you know. Okay, so Artemis is gonna do something to try to snap her out of it. Um, just she just grabs her shoulders. Okay. So like, but yeah, to do basically, that. <laughs> to snap her out of it. <laughs> I'm sure this is not the first time that she's done this in order to snap her out of one of these things. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. I did have the quick pause on this. Feel feel free to fill up the thing. Um. I have to really get back from right now. Sorry. Ow! Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh... GM's gone. Anarchy! Yep! <laughs> Anarchy! Thanks, you won! Riot! Rito. Darkness wild, <laughs> I mean, we could turn this into a thing we... along in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, all of us will be out of sync with each other, and it'll sound it's awful. Hi. Even if, even if we all have perfect timing and hit the pitches right. <laughs> Man, that. <laughs> Why not? What? what, what... 
Yes, you guys. I think you were saying you guys will play well. Oh. Yeah, five. I'm still trying to <clears throat> conceptualize. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to roll for the whole. What was it? She grabbed. She grabbed her shoulders, right? Yeah. 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 Her. That would be probably bare shoulders. I need them just clarifying. She grabbed her bare yeah. shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what do you think exactly? How sick do you think this would make Aspen? Probably not ridiculously. Um, I mean, granted, obviously not. Thea hasn't gotten to the point where she can actually, like, it's control. control it. She can control how sick she makes somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that problem, yeah. That, that's yeah. right. Go ahead and roll plus freak to unleash your powers. Okay. Ugh. Oh boy, we get to see how sick we get. Yeah. Fun, 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 Yay. fun, fun. And my freak's actually decently high. Sorry about that, but yeah. Oh. I can hear Aha! Now I get a, a, a good roll. Let's see. Don't complain. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Alright. Yeah, you just... You, <laughs> you actually don't get her to the full point of vomiting, like, you actually just managed to control it enough that she just kind of retches a little bit without actually... Yeah. Like, it, it's just enough to kind of, like... Like, you feel like you feel like you're feel you only vomit enough to kind of shake you out of it, but it quickly fades. Yeah. So kind of blink and, and look at... Look at Artemis. A, a, a little confused. Kind of like a... What? It just happened? <laughs> Yeah, you just had the digestive equivalent of smelling salts. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks. You know, I wouldn't do that if you had, if you, it wasn't for the fact that you absolutely needed it at that point. I. Thanks. I think. <laughs> Um, another thing you're noticing, like, another one of those waves passed through, her eyes have not changed. They're not glowing either anything. Whose? The mother's. The okay. Mother? Her eyes impaled. never were glowing, though. Yeah. But those waves yeah, but another through. wave just went through, so something should have happened. Yeah, everyone who wasn't protected's eyes glowed when they... Unless she's the cause behind this, which is very possible. Oh, right now she's in pain and bleeding out. And kind of doesn't want to go over, but it's the right thing to do. Yeah, as you guys, we got like a last panel of you guys kind of walking toward, like a top down view as you're walking towards that. We kind of cut over to Inferno and Kitty Harbuncle looking down at the the despondent uh, Ember. Oh, I'm not just looking down. I imagine Cutie, especially since Inferno knows who she is. Uh, she, um, Cutie is looking down and is probably like trying to hold her and just like, hey, hey, are you all right? She isn't very responsive, but at least she's not lashing out against us. <laughs> if she's out of it, uh, Inferno, do you think you can carry her? I'm going to go get a certain little girl back, who I yeah. think will be appreciative. Uh, yeah. Give your answer. You want me to what? Well... Oh yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure your fire suit isn't that way. That's right. And <laughs> also, as fun. you, yeah, no, that's fine. It's, for, for, uh, as you say, as you suddenly hear, feel a small, small projectile hugging you. Brother, I mean, sister, you're adorable. Wait. So I, I'm asking in character. Okay. Did she say brother and uh, or sister? Go. Lay down. Exactly like um, that. I'll take my headphones with me. I'll plug in my phone 
I will need you to roll for me if I need to roll. Yeah. I just don't feel Take like care of what is it? Yeah. Right so I want to clarify. Did she say that exactly like that, where it's like a brother or a sister? Yes. 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 There is a like, like all of a sudden my face just goes. Oh. <laughs> your little, your little cabinet thingy sit, made the little bubble. So you were the one giving me the bubbles, not him. I, 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 I try. I know how she's doing. <laughs> you react. look. You look at. You look the at. Her. Is take, cutie carbuncle takes a deep breath a moment before turning back and goes, "Well, it looks like it's your lucky day." So you're 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 reverting back to your uh, civilian identity. Oh no! No. Oh, no, turning back no, yeah. as the. You're also your familiar your, yeah. your 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 carbuncle familiar is like kind of grabbing on her head, like it looks like she was nearby. And it's just like as she ran off, it, she just kind of jumped on and just kind of held on and. I. Looking between her and the uh, thing, I kind of like make a shh uh, motion and I'm like pointing to the disjointed ember over there. I'm like, well, don't worry, cutie carbuncle is here now. Your brother will be back shortly. And I like wink at her. Oh, a secret. She is just kind of doing that little kid bounce. And if a good girl can keep a secret, I'll keep you safe. This is extortion. This is the kind of situation of like, she gets to be all happy because she's like, oh boy, I get to, I have a superhero. My superhero with idol is apparently my big brother, so I get to spend time with him now. How does it, what is it Inferno's reaction to this whole thing? This entire thing, yeah, thing sounds a whole lot, yeah, it sounds like you're making it a whole lot more difficult than it has to be. Well, not everyone is made of fire. No. Some people have to deal with having multiple lives. Uh, what does my ha being made of fire it, uh, do with me not having multiple lives? The others don't have multiple lives. <laughs> Out of character here, uh, not in character. Yeah, that's flamest. <laughs> I'm more confirming to the fact that, like, I know as a transformed, they don't have the option really to have their own privacy, really, in a situation. They can't hide what and they are. My now. character does have that separation between such. Where I'm trying to go with that. Mm -hmm. right, anyways, uh, as well, as you guys are kind of having the, some of the discussion, you just kind of there's just a a panel of your your of Mary just kind of squatting, doing the little kid squat. Looking down at the kind of the lump, being kind of looking at the at eye level to the slumped down uh, ember, and it's like she's probably angry because of whatever gave her that whatever hit her in the face. That's probably a bit the that's probably what the monster is. Yeah, I lean down and I uh, I will lift up and support Ember to kind of carry her. Or oh, wait, that's right. I don't have to just carry her like a mere mortal. <laughs> I have conjuration powers. So I will conjure, using my miraculous powers, a vehicle to carry both my sister 
and my currently unconscious girlfriend. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Jane. Uh, miraculous powers are copyrighted. <laughs> 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 So you're, you're, is everything working on your end, love? Yeah. Okay. Just, just wanted to make Why? sure. Why? No, just I was just okay. making sure. So. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just for the flavor and fun of it, it's gonna be like a one of those swan boats, but this one can actually fly. <laughs> That's what you shoot for. You get a swan golf cart. Yeah. Close enough for me. <laughs> so I will plop. Uh, I imagine. I will also ensuring though that there's also a place for Inferno to sit as well in this. Yeah, he goes where the golf clubs go. But as I imagine, like it's like a four per it's like a four person golf cart. And magic stuff is fireproof, as we have established. Yes. Yeah, of course. This, this is fair. So I'm like, all right, everybody, hop in. Let's go see if we can find some other people. And you kind of look up and see, oh, you kind of just see the whole, like, last little bit of the, uh, of Demon Blackbird versus the Sun God <laughs> in, the, in the sky. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that's hard to miss. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be a turkey. And then I turn around. And there's this like full oh. art page of Blackbird and him in the background just be gi giant battle. No, no. We already, we already had the minutes. full art page. And you like look up of, like, and you see the art, you see the art page from a different place. angle where it's awesome. less impressive, but still there. <laughs> like you, you say it like, and then the back, you see the, like if you look at the background of the panel, it's like, let's, you turn around and let's, say, let's go find people. And you see them about ready to clash. And it's suddenly there's just an explosion. Uh, an explosion of force kind of like silhouetting you kind of thing. It's like, and just kind of you're just like, oh. <laughs> it's just a, oh. That's all the text that that panel says. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm actually going to skip, uh, I, I'm going to do things a little longer. I, I want to, because we have, I, especially, like we're getting close to ending here, but I want to kind of wrap things up with uh, Artemis and Archangel mm -hmm. here. Just because we need to get some positioning for next week. So. I probably won't really be talking, hon. My voice is really going. Okay. Fine, we can kind of just focus on... Uh, Archangel's probably going to be the one talking uh, right now, so... If I'm that's okay. I'm yelled at. You're, you're going to the, the lady right now, so I don't think you're... Correct. So, kind of yeah, but she might yell at me, so... <laughs> What happened? Uh, you were uh, caught in the crossfire of an attack. <clears throat> what? Attacked. Technically, my dad, but something's happened. Eh, not, not what we need to focus on. She reminds herself. Um, does she have like? Uh. Do you cut through like, like the guitar strings then to kind of get at her? Yeah. Kind of pull her out into the like under the thing as you kind of get you know, pull her into the better lighting to kind of see and go look over her thing. And you notice the light starts shifting as soon as you bring her out, and you kind of look up. And you see, like the 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 normally like smooth-ish barrier around him starts pulsing and spiking. Like it, it looks um... agitated. And okay. 
And what? And suddenly there's, you just see these beams just kind of start shooting. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And then start sliding around like they're searchlights. Kind of spiraling towards your location. Oh, shit. Uh, this is not... Uh... I take her back into the guitar to try and get those searchlights to miss us. Alright. Um, I'm gonna have you actually roll plus savior for this. Okay. Because it's like, yes, you, you get you can get her in the guitar, but it's more about whether it's enough to Sure. Seven. Alright. So on a seven to nine. It costs you. You keep her safe, but you see, you expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation. I'm gonna say expose myself to danger. Yeah, so you get her just in time, and like you're kind of like you know there, and one of those beams does catch you. <laughs> and suddenly you're not there, and what happens to you? We'll probably find out in a fortnight. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Womp womp. They need to be saved, guys. <laughs> Alright, end of session moves here. Let's quick get uh, Artemis out of the way here so you can rest him up. Uh huh. Did you grow close to the team, image of yourself, or away from the team? Close to the team. Uh, so I assume it was by uh, Archangel? Yes. And you don't, all right, so just remember you can either clear condition or mark potential. Um, I will clear a condition. Okay. Are you no longer angry, guilty, or insecure? Um, I will clear insecure. Okay. All right, you are done, so you may rest. Thank you. I'm going to get off the call then. Okay, have a good one. Alright, Archangel. Do you grow close to the team, away from the team, or in the image of yourself? I'm gonna say closer to the team. Um, because Artemis did right. snap me out of... <laughs> okay, once is given back. And I'm gonna mark potential. Alright. Stay angry and guilty? Yeah. I think right now it still fits the situation. Yep. Okay. Give me Carbuncle. Close the team, away from the team, or image of yourself. I I feel like this is definitely one of those image of myself type situations. Mm -hmm. Like, because I'm already connected with Inferno, and we've been hanging out for a few chapters now in this. Yeah. And right now, like, I, I'm sorry, like, I know you guys were, you had some internal stuff going, but you guys were mostly the comic relief in this uh -huh. scenario. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So, image of myself means, uh... Shift your labels. Oh, I just get to shift my labels a little bit? Yep. Okay. Explain how you see, see yourself and why. Um... Yep. Double check where my labels are here, real quick. But and I'll also be picking a uh, I feel like this is a situation I finally get to. You know what? I feel like this is a situation where I definitely get to feel like a hero, right. but I'm also slightly embarrassed because now I know my little sister knows my identity. So I'm mm -hmm. going to shift my savior up and my superior down. Okay, so you got a plus three savior and a minus one superior? No, uh, uh, plus two savior, zero superior. Because that's what I had you at already. Oh, uh, Wait, why why did you shift me? I was at plus one plus one for both of them. 
beforehand. I think you so. may have shifted them last week at the end. Yeah. So, oh, maybe yeah. I didn't mark them down. Yep, that's a possibility. Oh wait, wait a minute. I wait, thought wait, it was the opposite last week because I was being an older brother, and thus, and avoiding fighting. That's why I would have expected it to have been the opposite last week. So it, it, I do believe now I'm at plus two savior, zero superior. Okay, what's what, what does your stat say on your in your book uh, on you right now? Because I realize these stats are not adding on up. On my sheet, it's plus one plus one. No, They're all of your stats. Up. I want to check all of your stats because right now they're adding up to plus two, and that shouldn't be. All right. Well, right now it's zero, not minus two danger. Okay. Plus two freak. Yep. Plus one mundane. Okay. And that was what I everything else. Right. So yeah, we'll just go by what your sheet says because clearly I messed something up because you didn't even have the right total. So you want to be at plus two zero savior and plus zero superior then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mistral. Um, I think I'm going to go with Into the Image of Myself. Okay. So how you see yourself and why? Uh, I'm going to go plus one freak, minus one mundane. Right? Yeah, because you just had, gotta have the, uh, the constant yammering of Mary. Probably. Yeah, and being remi reminded of... You're made of, uh, made of fire. Yep, a lot. You got reminded of that quite a bit this session. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it, it, yeah, yeah. The you would, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, yeah, uh, yeah. The you, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. You wouldn't understand what it, yeah. What why you need to have a, a double light. You're, yeah. You're made of fire. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right. It's a little harsh, but... So, Regalia. Hi. Can we do Blackbird first? I don't... Yeah, sure. We can do Blackbird. I want to see what he has to say. Blackbird. Oh, yes, I did. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I do. Guess um into the image of myself, uh Okay. And I'm thinking danger up, savior down. Okay. Yeah, that 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 fits. Gave into the dark side. Yeah. Also, um I don't think we really fought against your doom this week. No, and I don't think we marked last time, so another yeah. doom counter. Kind of leaned into your doom. That's more, what more than three in one else. session. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the doom fast approaching. Well, like how many advances have you taken so far? Uh, I only have two advances now for my doom sign. So. No, no, like character advances, because that's that's why you mark potential is because one of your last once you're below the lines advances is how you fight your doom on your terms. Okay. Um, I think I took uh, two advances. Uh, Okay, so um, you're, you're doing okay. And uh, I'll get, like, I need one more p potential for another one, so. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty even out. Yep. Right. On par, as it were. Yep. So, Regalia. Okay, um. You know, there's uh, a hole, too, if you feel like there isn't enough to take us No, off. there there was enough, I just don't know what it is. Next week is going to be the okay. Everyone's coming okay. back together thing, so we're going to be, actually have more free flowing interaction. Hmm. Um. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. It's if either you... growing into the image of himself or it's away from the team. Um. But the the whole thing where my character did not convince anybody to do anything did not wind up doing much so it probably isn't a big impact um so yeah it'll be growing into the image of himself right. uh your labels and explain how you see yourself now 
Um, he did a pretty bad job of stopping people from fighting each other. So I think his savior goes down. But what goes up? What, what did he? How did he see himself? Well, maybe he could just be superior, as in like he looks at things like you know. Well, you could say like he didn't. He didn't convince him, but at the same time, he wasn't the one who was being stupid and fighting at the same time. So he could kind of go that angle. Yeah, I'll do that. Savior down, superior up. Okay, that's it for the end of session moves. As always, you can join our Discord to chat. Put the link down in the description to chat with us, discuss the channel, or channel adjacent topics, or like. What parental issues are you currently suffering from? <laughs> you can All also of the parental issues. You can also follow us on Twitter at Tales Across to get updates from us and be notified when the channel goes live. Character art is done by a friend of the show, Carl. Links below to their coffee account and Deviant Art. Finally, like, subscribe, and follow us to get both future content and help us reach a wider audience. So to the to the, those watching us in the past, present, and future, beat me up, Scotty, and good night. Good night. I can't believe that. <laughs>